Hi everyone, I'll be installing Arch Linux on a separate drive. I currently have Windows 11 installed and will put Arch Linux on a different physical drive. This is great if you want to keep things entirely separate and makes things portable as well. Each drive has its own separate EFI partition to avoid any future issues. I will be using Grub as the bootloader. So I'm going to open up Disk Management, extend this, and then so we have disk zero, there's my C drive, this is where Windows is on, and then we have my disk one, this is a 200 gigabytes drive here, and this is where I'm going to install Arch Linux on, and then this is uh, my second disk, which is my USB drive, essentially it's 64 gigabytes, and this is where I'm going to be putting Arch Linux on. So I'm going to open up my browser. So go to archlinux.org, and then at the top right, you have download. And then you can scroll down, and I'll have mirrors for different countries here, or you could just use the worldwide mirror. I'll just click this one here, and then you just click on it just to download it. And then the next thing you need to download is Rufus, and you can go to rufus.ie, and then you can scroll down, and then there's download, and then there's a the portable version that I downloaded, so Rufus is going to be used. So then you can put the Arch Linux ISO onto a USB drive, so then we can boot off of it. So I have both of these already downloaded, so I'm going to go into my downloads folder, and I'm going to open up Rufus, and then pick your ISO, and then hit the select button, and then pick Arch Linux, the ISO, and then keep the rest as defaults, and then hit start. And it's going to ask you to select a mode, and then you could just write in ISO mode, so hit OK. And then this window comes up here about it's saying that it's using a newer version of SysLinux. And then so you can just hit yes, so you can connect to download the new files. And this window here is just asking for confirmation, OK. OK, I'm going to close it. So here it is. So here's my USB drive, and it has the Arch Linux on here. So now I'm going to restart my computer and I'm going to boot off of the USB drive and go into Arch Linux. All right. And when you boot off the USB drive, you'll get the grub menu here. And then so I'm going to pick the first option, Arch Linux install medium. Okay. So now you're in the shell and you can type in IP space dash A. And then this will show if you have an IP address. So I'm currently wired. I have a wired connection. And so I have an IP address of 172.30.248.251. And I'm just going to ping out to the internet just to make sure I have internet connectivity. And yes, I do. And you'll need internet connectivity in order to proceed. And I'm going to run Arch install. And this is a library that will help automate the install process. All right. And there's Arch install language, English, and then pick your mirror. So I'm going to pick my mirror region. United States. I'm going to go back. And then you can pick your locale just to confirm your keyboard, your locale language, locale encoding. You go back. This configuration. So I'm going to be doing a manual partitioning. So I'm going to pick my 200 gigabyte drive. So it's this one here, dev slash sdb. And then so I'm going to hit the space bar to select. I'm going to hit enter. And then now I'm going to suggest a partition layout. And I want to use ext4 for the file system. And would you like to create a separate partition for home? The default is yes. So I'll keep that. And here it'll show the suggested partition structure. So at the top here, we have slash boots. So this is going to be the EFI partition. And it's 536 megabytes. And then there's 21 gigabytes for slash for root and 193 gigabytes for slash home. So I'll keep this, I'll confirm and exit. And disk encryption, I'm not going to encrypt. And then bootloader, I'm going to change it from system D to grub. And then swap, I'm going to keep it as true. And then host name, I'm going to change it. And then the root password. And then put in a user account. So I'm going to add in a user. And should KMD tech be a super user? Yes and then confirm and exit, and then the profile. And here's going to show the profiles, a desktop, minimal, server, and Xorg. So if you're a user, pick desktop. And here it's asking you to desired desktop environment. So you got Cinnamon here, for example. You got GNOME, you got KDE. So I'm going to pick Cinnamon and hit the space bar and hit enter. And then you can 
go down and pick the graphics driver. So you can pick, for example, AMD ATI, and there's NVIDIA, and there's VMware. So I'm going to pick all open source as the default, and I'm going to go back. And then you got the kernels. So you got different kernels. So you got Linux, and you got a hardened Linux, and LTS, and Zen. I'm going to keep the default with Linux. And a network configuration. And then, so I'm going to use the network manager. And then there's the time zone. So pick your time zone. And I forgot about additional packages. So go back up here. And here you can install additional packages. So I'm going to want Firefox so I can do some web browsing. And then GIMP so I can edit pictures. And hit enter. And you can go down to optional repositories. So you can pick additional repositories to enable. If you don't want to, just hit escape. And then when you're ready, you can hit install. And then I'm going to hit enter. So it's formatting the file systems. So it's going to be downloading these packages here. And it might take some time depending on how fast your internet connection is. All right, it's done installing and it's asking, would you like to root into the newly created installation and perform post installation configuration? Yes. All right, so we're now in our Arch Linux install and we're gonna install some packages. We're gonna use package manager. And so I'm gonna to need to install some text editors. So I'm gonna be installing both VI and Nano and I'll go over both of them when editing files. So pacman space dash s and then vi space and nano, yes. And the next package we'll have to install is OS Prober and this will check to see if there's any other operating systems on your computer. So pacman dash s OS Prober and then yes. And so we'll need to edit the default grub file. So I'll use vi first. So vi space etsy default and then grub and when you're inside the file you can hit shift g and this will go to the bottom of the file and then you can hit x and then this will erase the character the pound sign there and then you can hit colon wq and then hit enter and then it'll save that file and that last line there will enable probing for other operating systems. So that is what we've just enabled and if you're not using vi you can use nano and then Etsy default grub. And then you can use the arrow keys to go all the way down. And then you can erase using the backspace. And then once you're done, you can hit control X. And then it will ask you to confirm the file name and you can just hit enter. And then you will be back at the terminal. Next, I want to check the EFI entries. So I'll type in EFI boot MGR boot manager. And I do not see Arch Linux in here, so it'll have to be added in here. So to do that, I'll be doing a grub dash install dash dash target equals x86 underscore 64 dash EFI dash dash EFI dash directory equals forward slash boot and then dash dash recheck. And then it'll default with the name of Arch installation finished, no errors reported. And then if we type in EFI boot manager again, we see now that there's an entry at the bottom there for Arch. So to confirm that EFI entry is working and Grub comes up properly, I'm going to reboot. So first I'm going to exit out of the truth and then I'm going to reboot. Okay, so I got the Grub menu here, so it's working. Got Arch Linux, but there's no windows here. So we're going to fix that. So we're going to go back into Arch Linux, log in. All right, I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to sudo. Okay, I'm in as root, and I'm going to do an F disk space dash L. And if we scroll up here, so this is my Windows drive here, SDA, and then here's the EFI partition here, slash dev slash SDA1. So I'm going to mount that, and the mount directory here is empty, so I'm going to mount it there. So mount dev SDA1 to the mount, and then if we go into it, we'll see it's here. And now I'm going to type in OS Prober. Okay, so it's found it. It's found the Windows Boot Manager here. 
Now I'm going to type in grub make config. So this will make a config and this would have the Windows boot manager in it as well. So it's going to put it under grub, grub.config. And we can see here it's found the Windows boot manager on dev SDA1. And now I'm going to reboot. Okay, so it's back at grub and we see here that there's Windows boot manager. So I'm going to boot into Windows. I'm back in Windows again. So that's it. That's how you can install Arch Linux on a separate physical drive with a separate EFI partition for your dual boot with Windows. I hope this was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.